I'm GS Fear, and I'm dedicated to bringing you those stream tips, tricks, and tutorials to help you set your Twitch stream apart from all of the rest so that you can be above all the rest. And in this video, I am going to be showing you how to add a now playing Spotify widget from pixelchat.tv for your stream. So stick around. So you're going to want to go to pixelchat.tv. You're going to want to log into your Twitch. So after this, you're going to be brought to this screen. Go down here to overlays, create a new overlay. Go to the now playing, click on that. And it's going to take you over to the left side here. So you're going to want to hit this edit button. Now, the cool thing about this, you know, this app or this overlay is that you can change the style. So you can change the background tint. I have mine kind of in the middle, as you can see on the screen right now. Now you can change it, whatever you would like. So I can have it really just, you know, baby doo doo green if I want, or I can just have it, you know, just black or white or whatever I want. So I have mine kind of in the middle here. You can have a text color if you want a different color. Red looks really, really awesome, but I'm just, I'm just a plain dude. So I'm just gonna do a good old white. Uh, I'm gonna go to the themes here. You can change it to large or small. You can change the font faces now. They have like, I don't know, 10, 15 of their own fonts. But the cool thing about this is you can upload your own personal fonts from Google onto here. So I just have mine as default. You can change the width of it. As you can see, it has like a different, you know, size across of it. So I have that at zero. You can have the corner roundings so that it's not just a block. Now the really awesome, awesome thing that this overlay with Pixel Chat offers is you can have it stay open all the time or only trigger on a command, not a song change. So I have mine open all the time just because I like to show the appreciation to the artists that I'm playing their music, especially the ones that like uh, that that I'm paying the five dollars for the Monster Cat a month. But I still want to show that appreciation to those artists just because they make awesome music. So you can have that to trigger it on command, you know, exclamation song. You can change it to whatever you want. You can have it customized the length of the pop up when it does pop up when somebody does click that. Now you're going to want to come down here to the account. Click here to view the setup tutorial. Now it's going to take you to this page right here, the help.pixel.chat to basically show how to connect last.fm to Spotify and for you to use the last.fm. So you're going to set it up to simply get started. Click here. And it's going to take you to this page over here. Now, I'm not going to show you this page just because it has my actual real name on there. So after you do that, it's going to come down here to the suggested applications. And you're just going to want to connect your Spotify with last.fm and hit connect. Now, once you have done that, you are amazing. You're good to go. You just, you know, you just get your last.fm username. And then you just plug it in to the last.fm username. So what we do after that is we're going to come down here to the home menu. Overlays. And then copy this link right here. And then we are going to show the display capture. So we're going to come here. And then we're going to add this as a browser source. So just go to the browser and just add this as a source, that link that you copied. And that's literally all you have to do for it to show up on your stream. Now, after that happens, we'll just add it real quick just to show you guys. And it should show up and there you go right here. And that could show if you want it on the command or if you want it to be shown all the time. I think this is absolutely positively the best looking now playing widget that you can possibly get on Twitch. Thank you so much for watching the video. Don't forget to smash that like button. Also leave a thumbs up in the comments if this video did help you out just so I know how many people it helped out. And if you are brand new to the channel and you want to see more stream tips, tricks, and tutorials just like this, hit that subscribe button. 
that notification ding ding so you don't miss them thank you guys so much i'll catch y'all in the next video peace <laughs>